What's good? It's your boy Juan coming at you once again. All right, guys. This time I'm doing a video on my custom one six scale, the Return of the Living Dead Part Two, Tar Man. Uh, this version is uh, pretty different uh, compared to the first one from you know the original film. So uh, you know some subtle differences and um, you know a lot of uh, similarities as well. Of course, you know that being the uh, tar and the bones. But uh, let's just start from the bottom. I'm gonna start with the feet area display base. Um, if you notice, we have the you know the little canister that the bodies come in. And if you look close, it says "Call Army." emergency and then it has the phone number uh... even if you look closely it's where the kids kind of dusted it off they're in that little drainage area whatever um, now this isn't necessarily in scale with the figure uh, or else the canister would be like this huge and i didn't want to do that it's really just a cool little display base to you know have him stand on uh... we got like a old tire right here a piece of concrete you know what i mean and so it just really adds to uh... you know the overall figure and, and, and display. So, uh, going up, we got the bone. See, on, on my. The, 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 I can't even. There we go again. The Tar Man uh, was one of my first custom figures that I had done in 1 6 scale. And so, again, like the Night of the Creeps guy, I really had to come back and do another one. But I also wanted to do something a little bit different. Uh, so, um,. You know, this one is a little more beefier than the Tar Man, uh, the original Tar Man. Uh, also, you know, we have his intestines showing. Uh, the bones aren't showing quite as much, but they are there. Uh, lots of tar. Uh, it's really just not hanging off of them as much as the other one, but I still really just love the design of the face sculpt and just the fact that he looks, he's just bigger, man, and just nastier. Uh, looking closely, we got the bones in the hands bony knees, they're all there, it's fully articulate, uh, none of this black stuff will get on you, it's, it's uh, a lot of you guys who own my tar man, you know that's top notch guys, so, um, you know, the feet, um, let me see, let's turn him around, give you guys a nice shot of the all around body, if you look, you got his like hip bone sticking out, oh yeah, and going right here, you can see the tar and the broken glass, so I just wanted to add that in there. Uh, going upwards, you see his spine hanging out. Nasty, just dirty, slimy, icky-looking bastard. Um, the head sculpt, too, however, is probably one of my favorite parts about this figure because um, loving the way the original Tar Man looked, nothing, you know, I'm not trying to take away from that because I love that look. But this one is just more zombified. I mean... If you look at it, one eyelid is kind of going upwards. I mean, this is exactly what he looked like, the expression on his face. He had a nose. He had lips. Uh, he was, just a, you know, just a totally different look as far as the face. So it was really fun, a nice change of pace. I didn't want to do the same old tar man, so this was fun. Uh, we got little pieces hanging off of his head. Yeah, I mean, if you could see it right there, right there. Just It's very, very film accurate. Lots of you know, little different colors, browns and off whites all over the bones. And he's very shiny, very slimy looking. And again, he's very slimy and he's fully articulate, but he's not, it will not, you could, like again, I, I said this originally when I, I did my first tar, man. You can put him on a white sheet, rub him in there, and it's, it's not even a little bit that's going to be on your sheet. So, why, but not that you would do that, you know. <laughs> So here we go, man. This is my custom 1-6 scale Return of the Living Dead Tar Man. Now, the base body on this, I believe, was a part 6. Um... <laughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. <laughs> uh, it was a part 6 uh, sideshow uh, Jason figure. Uh, you know, I had a lot of leftover bodies. I didn't take apart a brand new one or anything. For those of you, I don't want you to be upset with me. I got a lot of body parts. Um... And I liked using that body in particular because <clears throat> it's a very dark, almost black body. So, you know, you, you, there will be no paint rub, no flesh tones peeking out of this body no matter what. Not that there will be paint rub anyway, but it's 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 completely dark body. So it's it worked out awesome. The head sculpt is from scratch, casted in resin. Um, 
You know what I mean? I didn't sculpt over the Jason head or anything. This is all, you know, it's really cool because it gives me an opportunity to just um, pick and choose the shape uh, of everything. I don't have to work with anything existing. So that was fun. Uh, eventually, I'm going to try my best to get body parts made. That'd be cool, like a full figure. And while we're here, I got better lighting, so I might as well show you him again. Nice close-up look. And these guys are both available, by the way. I'm sorry if I didn't mention that. They are both available. Should you buy them both, I'll give you guys a discount. Oh, yeah, here. I'll show you this one, too, while we're here. This one sold, unfortunately, guys. Sorry. But, you know, here's a closer look anyway. Just stuffing them all in there. Oh, yeah. It's very sexual. <laughs> uh, more reviews to come, guys, so make sure you stay tuned. Uh, also, I'll be doing a video answering some questions uh, for people as well as, uh, you know, just talking about what's going on with One's Customs. And uh, So look out for that. Much love and respect to everybody, all my subscribers. Here we go. It's hard, man. Return of the Living Dead Part 2. Get it now. Brains. <laughs>